Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you guys how to install a garbage disposal. So make sure you guys stay to the end. See you guys. Please share my video to get me to a thousand subscribers so we can get more content for you guys. So this is the garbage disposal we use right here. And uh, I'm gonna be installing the faucet too. This is uh, what we use here in Oakland. Uh, well, I mean, we can use anything. There's a lot of other brands, but those are the ones we use at the company. We, right now we're doing uh, three different buildings with uh, four floors on each building. Uh, all units, apartment units. So uh, as you can see, we have nothing in there, no plumbing yet. We got some toilets done, a little lobby right here. Nothing done to it. All right, so this is easy. Uh, we got the paperwork right here, we don't need it. We got the top part, and then the actual disposal. So the first thing you wanna do is take these apart. So we got, uh, these three screws right here, you just lightly take them out. I'm gonna tell you why. So we need to get to uh, this ring in here, holding this whole thing that you have to pry out. So what I do is just slightly take it out and just pry out the ring in here. So you can see this right here. That's what holds the whole assembly. So come in. Let me undo a little more. There you go. There's the ring right here. So as soon as you take that ring out, you can take the rest of the stuff out. See. Next thing you guys want to do is get plumber's putty. Plumber's putty is what holds the water from going down to inside the cabinet in the bottom. So there's like putty, look like play, uh, like play -Doh. You grab a good amount, maybe like this and just make a snake. Just roll it so you can put it under this. Just like that. Just cut it off, overlap. So now what you guys do is set this, make sure the letters are facing forward and just press down on this thing. Just put, just put all the pressure down so it doesn't move under you. When you're installing the rest of the stuff under, you don't want it to move. And that's the secret for this. Because usually as it moves when you try to put back the ring. So it's, it's good right there. Have it all sticking out. At last, we'll take all this axis coming out. Uh, so what you guys need to do next is undo all these three screws all the way to the end so it lets you work on it just like that first comes this uh paper ring and then this one this flat part triangle on first and then this one with the screws facing up just like that okay. so you need that ring right there so it holds it in place and it doesn't drop so what you do is try to get it to open and get it in there so that's why it's important to push down the top of the putty so this won't move because if you push right here this is all gonna go up so you gotta go 
open it like that. See, it already moved on me. So if it keeps moving it, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Hold on, I gotta go up there again. All right, let's see if it works. I pressed down as hard as I could. Again, this triangle and screws up like this. And then the ring. I try not to put a lot of pressure on the middle part because if not, it's going to go up again. It's probably the hardest part right here doing this part. There you go. All right, it's already locked. It won't come out. So what you do is just start screwing these screws in. So as you do this, the top part just comes, it presses down. And oh, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. Uh, as you can see. As I, I screw it, more comes out. And then you can see putty coming out from down here too, right here, which is fine. That's what we want. So you can seal this whole bottom and no water goes in through here. And all you do is just take out the axis. So you can see it's still lifted right here. So you gotta go a little, little more. have a, a little space right here on this side and we don't want this on this side so what I do I just pull back make it center okay right there seems a little center yeah, that's better so what I like to do to take out all this axis is use a knife and kind of dig in there so everything comes out just like that centered you can see I took most of the axes out and that's how you put this so that's pretty much what's gonna hold um, this whole garbage disposal under here to these slides right here well you pretty much you just put it in here and it just lights right in here and it just times up up here these little grooves in here are the ones that they're gonna hold the whole thing in place. I'll show you guys right now. Okay, before anything, let's put this 90 piece the tail in here to this part right here. So o ring, another o ring that times this tool right here is to time the whole disposal. You put it in these notches right here so you can tie in the whole thing. And you got the little screws. First of all, you put the ring in here. Put the ring in there. Slide this 90 inside here. Just like that. And then just screw. Now 
that's where everything the whole water is gonna come out through all the to the drain and I like to tie these all the way down so the metal touches the plastic so you have a nice tight seal if you haven't seen my last video where I show my pack out go check it out it's my first video Pretty soon I'll make another video when I get my other pa new pack out, my setup. I'll make another video. So, so what you guys do, trying to get those notches, these notches in here, these to grab on right here and just twist there then make sure this oh shit do that. make sure this uh this elbow is towards uh where you're gonna connect your p-trap you don't want it out to the other side once it's facing the way you want grab your tool they provide and just slide it on one of these notches right here just slide it in and just twist tie it the whole thing there you go that's all it is other than that you just connect your p-trap you got a p-trap right there I don't know why it's painted and it didn't even cover it. But this cast iron right here. We just connect this, put the P-trap, connect, connect to this. That's it. And that's it. It's all connected. That's all you do. It's an easy 30 minute job. That you can charge maybe 150, 200, depending there you are at. Just in half an hour. Here's how the garbage disposal looks connected with the P-trap and everything. And that's it right there. That's pretty much it. Right now, I'm just going to uh, install this faucet in here. It's too easy. Probably in like 10 minutes, is all, I'll probably be on. If you guys want to see a video like that, putting a faucet on or toilet or whatever you guys want, let me know and I'll, I'll show you guys and I'll put a video up. Uh, stay tuned for other videos. Uh, when my pack out shows up, my drawer pack out, and I'll show you guys my setup. My new setup right now, I have a mess in my new pack out, or in the pack out I have right now. So stay tuned for that, and make sure to subscribe and give it a like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.